Beyoncé dispelled any speculation that she and Lizzo were at odds by expressing her love for the pop singer during her most recent tour stop in Atlanta. The turmoil surrounding Keek Palmer's Las Vegas residency has been amplified by Usher by using her as the lead character in the music video for his new track, Boyfriend. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown, if you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. The seasoned R&B performer shared a brief teaser for the fast-paced song on Instagram on Tuesday, ahead of its full release on Wednesday. The Nope star makes an appearance in the clip sporting a full beat face and blue and black hair, and seemed poised to take the opportunity. While singing, Somebody say that your boyfriend's looking for me. Fans reacted hilariously to Usher and Keek turning their Sin City saga into an ostensibly disorganized music video once the excerpt was posted, and they went to the comments section to express their funny observations. Don't leave your sweetheart near me, true playa for real, one user wrote, paraphrasing Usher's 2001 hit song You Don't Have to Call, while another person wrote, This is menace behavior. Another commenter called the video impeccable marketing and speculated that Keek Palmer's boyfriend Darius Jackson is somewhere punching the air. In July, Usher's Las Vegas residency gave Keek Palmer a night to remember when he serenaded her with a rendition of There Goes My Baby. The hot video showed Usher, who had entered the audience to court the actress, dancing close to Keek as she was dressed in a see-through black lace dress and undergarment. It's the outfit though. You a mom? He tweeted, before adding, We live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others and he gets told how much of a hater he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. A short while afterwards, Jackson deleted all of the pictures of Palmer and him from his Instagram profile, and they both unfollowed one another. Usher eventually spoke out about the Keek Palmer and Darius Jackson breakup in the first few days of August, denying that his serenading was negative. Way into her renaissance performance at the Mercedes-Benz Arena on Monday, August 14th, Queen Bey shouted to the audience, I love you, Lizzo, to which they responded with cheers. <laughs> The mention was Bay's most overt show of support for Lizzo since her refusal to mention the Truth Hurts hitmaker during a performance of her Break My Soul in Foxborough, Massachusetts, last month. The incident happened shortly after it was reported that three former dancers were suing Lizzo on grounds of sexual harassment, fat shaming, and creating a hostile work environment. Days later, Lizzo responded, calling the allegations false and sensationalized. Usually I choose not to respond to false allegations but these are as unbelievable as they sound and too outrageous to not be addressed," she wrote on Instagram. These sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who have already publicly admitted that they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. While some believe that Beyoncé was distancing herself from the plus-size diva, Tina Knowles, Bay's mother, refuted the claim on social media. Knowles posted on the Jasmine brand's Instagram page, she also didn't say her own sister's name Yal should really stop, in a comment. Also soon after Erika Badu called her out on social media for criticizing her style in relation to a hat she wore on stage, Beyoncé made a visit in Massachusetts as part of her tour. The former member of Destiny's Child appeared to respond during her performance in Washington, D.C., reinstating the Lizzo name drop in the remix of Break My Soul but oddly leaving out Badu's name. Meanwhile, it was just revealed that Queen Bee's Renaissance World Tour has surpassed all other black singer tours in terms of revenue. With 23 gigs remaining, Turing Data reports that the concert series has now made $296 million from 33 performances. Prior to 2016, Bay's Formation World Tour held the record. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comments section and most importantly subscribe. See you.